And we're back. Well, I'm back, and I'm Blade, and uh, I'm here. For this week, we're going to be talking about muscles. But let's hope we're not talking about my muscles. <laughs> Yeah. This is Blade of Excelsior, I'm Blade, and in this show we like to do some interesting things to figure out how the universe ticks. And thanks to my older brother Matteo, I'll be doing a Q&A episode in a couple weeks. So leave your comments down below and make sure you guys go like my Facebook page if you haven't already. Muscles are great, and especially when you actually have muscles. And obviously muscles don't grow by eating food. That's how fat grows children, it's called obesity. <laughs> Anyways, this isn't a health show and I'm not a bodybuilder. So what I want to do today is explain to you how muscles grow in a scientific explanation. Since we're being scientific about this, I thought I should mention that we're actually talking about the skeletal muscles, which is the voluntary muscles pretty much throughout your whole body. For example, is your arms and legs. But it's different than the smooth muscles like your internal organs and the cardiac muscle like your heart. Your muscle consists of hundreds of thousands individual fibers all running parallel to each other. Think of it like yarn weaved together but much smaller and a lot of strands. Your muscle can have 25,000, 50,000 and even 100,000 muscle fibers within the bicep. A study was done a couple years ago that the average 21 year old male has approximately 253,000 muscle fibers within the bicep. I'm going to need more yarn. There are two basic ways to strengthen your muscle. Number one, the communication with your muscle and your brain. You see, the muscle is connected to the nervous system and the nervous system receives a signal from the brain whenever you want to move the muscle. The motor unit within the muscle controls a certain amount of muscle fibers. Think of it as these strands representing fibers, and there's 50 of them. My finger represents the motor unit. If I grab, let's say, 10 of them, and I pull on it, I'm using 20% of the existing fibers. But if I grab all 50 with the same finger, it requires a lot more strength. If I put 10 strands of the fiber on each one of my fingers, and I pull, I'm now using 80% of the existing fibers. That now enables me to do four times the amount of work on the same muscle. This is called muscle recruitment. The more you do a workout routine, like say lifting weights, the more neurological pathways the brain will recruit to access the muscle fiber. So you're getting stronger without actually increasing your muscle mass, just because of the communication with your brain and your muscle. The second way that strength works is through a process called hypertrophy. It's a different type of mechanism that actually enlarges the muscle fibers, but in result makes the muscle a lot stronger. When you work out, your muscle fibers are pushed beyond their limits by either weight limit or repetition. They then experience micro-tearing. This microscopic damage is being caused to the muscle fibers. This is when you feel the burn after a good workout, and that burn is actually from the microscopic tearing that's within the muscle fibers. When your muscle is torn, your body goes to repair it, and while doing so every time, it makes the muscle a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger. Imagine having 250,000 strands of string versus 253,000 strands of paracord. And that is what happens when you work out, folks. So having a routine improves communication to utilize greater strength. And exerting muscle by adding on weight creates micro tears. Your body heals those tears and makes you stronger. You should also know that vitamin C is a great nutrient to help heal tissue. So if you increase your intake of vitamin C, it'll help the process of healing. So go eat those oranges, Mateo. So as you know, I'm not a bodybuilder. I know, I know ladies, it's disappointing, but I'm working on it, okay? This is also not a health show, or a, I don't even know what you call it, a nutrition show or something like that. Anyways, all I wanted to do today was to teach you guys how muscles grow and how strength works. So before you do any sort of workout routine or you wanna plan on building your muscles, Take all the safety requirements that are required. Thanks for watching. I think I'm going to work out now. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this week's episode. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm Blade with Hawaii, and this is Blade of Excelsior.